I'm hungry. Hi viewers, welcome to Taj Foods. Today we'll be making the delicious, scrumptious, baluchi pilau, Taj food style. So without further ado, let's begin. If you like our videos, click the red subscribe button. Next to it, click the bell icon and you'll get notifications for our recipes for free. Don't forget to like, share and comment. Here are all our ingredients that we need for the pilau. So what we need is half a kg lamb, three cups of rice, half a cup of oil, two cardamoms, two medium potatoes, two large tomatoes, three medium onions diced, two tablespoons of ginger and garlic paste, and three tablespoons of yogurt. For garnishing, we need coriander, mint, two green chili peppers, and one lemon. We also need spices which will come to later on. So in a pan we'll add the oil. To the pan we'll add the onions and fry until golden brown. Now we will chop up all our veggies like so. Here are the onions, nicely fried, golden brown, we'll take them out now. However, remember to leave some onions in the pan. So as you can see here, we've added the uncrushed garam masala, which consists of cinnamon, black cardamom, cloves, whole black pepper and star anise. Now add the meat. Now to the meat, add the ginger and garlic paste and stir. Cover the lid and cook on high heat until the meat changes colour. Open the lid and as you can see here the meat has changed colour. So we'll go ahead and add the tomatoes that we chopped up earlier. and mix them all together. Stir. Now cover the lid and cook for approximately five minutes until the tomato has let out its water. As you can see here, the tomatoes have started to let out its water a little. Now we'll add six green cardamoms peeled. As you can see here, the tomatoes have let out its water fully. So it's time to move on to the yummy spices soon. Time to move on to the yummy spices. These consist of one tablespoon of red chili powder, one teaspoon garam masala, one teaspoon Kashmiri red chili powder, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon dry roasted cumin, and one tablespoon salt to taste. Now we will stir on high flame. Next, add the yogurt. Now stir. Now cover the lid and cook fully until the meat is cooked. Okay, let's open the lid. As you can see here, the meat is cooked. It's time to add the potatoes. As you can see now, we have left the potato to cook, so it's cooked now. I'm hungry. It's time to add the rice now.
add some water and add some salt as you can see here to taste now cover the lid and leave to cook until the rice is fully cooked as you can see here the rice is starting to cook as the water evaporates Here we have taken a cup of water, we've added a pinch of saffron and some orange food colouring and left to infuse, we'll add that to our rice. So now we would add the fried onions and the garnishing ingredients to our rice. Now cover the lid and leave to cook until the water of the rice fully evaporates. As you can see here the water has fully evaporated, so time to dish out. I'm hungry. Here is the final product, enjoy. I'm hungry.